Today, for the first time since winning her primary for state superintendent, we had a chance to speak with Michelle Morrow. We're also speaking with her opponent, Mo Green, who says she is not fit for the office. Green called her out over this video recorded on January 6th, where she calls for then-President Trump to set aside the Constitution and use the military to stay in power. WRO Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is here with what both candidates had to say today. Laura. Gerald, Michelle Morrow is no stranger to the national media spotlight. Comments she's made on social media have gotten a lot of coverage by cable news over the past few months. Morrow says she's being misinterpreted, but her Democratic opponent says the video doesn't lie. Republican state schools chief candidate Michelle Morrow was at the January 6th protest with her children, although she says they did not take part in any of the violence at the Capitol. That evening, live on social media, she called for then-President Donald Trump to use the military to stay in power. Then he will have to enact the Insurrection Act, in which case the Insurrection Act completely puts the Constitution to the side and says, now the military rules all. She also called on Trump to go after Congress members who voted to uphold Biden's election. And they can all be arrested for treason. My words were not to arrest people for treason. Okay. Um. I was stating that when our government is not protecting the God-given inalienable rights of our citizens, that it is our duty to make sure that they understand that they work for us. And if that involves putting that aside the Constitution, then that's okay? Well, I say that uh, if you look at what the Insurrection Act does, I mean, you guys are the ones that said it was an insurrection, so why aren't you asking for the Insurrection Act to be enacted? Her Democratic rival, Mo Green, said it's not the first time Morrow has called for political violence. She has also called for the executions of President Barack Obama and Joe Biden. And now we're going to talk about putting aside the Constitution. Um, and we're going to install the military, and we're going to arrest many for treason. Absolutely, deeply concerning and incredibly dangerous. Green feels those comments prove that Morrow is not fit to lead the state school system. Morrow, however, said those comments were made four and a half years ago, and voters now are interested in the future of education, not the past. Laura Leslie, WRAL News. All right, Laura, thank you. Now we're going to put the full interviews with both candidates on our YouTube page.